All right, all right. Check one, check two, check three. Now, for all those people who are getting ready to watch this, just keep in mind that uh, this recording will be recorded ahead of time, so I probably will not be live in the chats, okay? So that will be your answer as to why I may not be getting back to you. Uh, that being said, let's get going. Five, four, three, two, one. What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. Let's get this checked in here a little bit better. All right, it's not too bad. Let's see if we can. All right. So thanks, guys. I want to appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming here and uh, checking out this particular educational video. Um, here, let's see if we can flip this. Get that one off, maybe. Uh, it's not better. All right. I'll just deal with the blazing sun in my face. All right, guys. So once again, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. And I just want to let you guys know I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, let's get going. So this particular video, um, just making sure the audio and everything looks good. All right, let me go. That looks okay. So let me double check the settings. Audio check, one, two, one, two, three. All right, it's not bad. Looks like it could be up a little bit louder. All right. All right, so we are going to be talking about the citizen of the United States, some definitions and looking at Cornell Law EDU. Once again, remember guys that this is going to be recorded in advance, so I probably will not be in the comments uh, to answer your questions, all right? Obviously, if I respond that I'm in there, but if I don't get back to you, this is why. All right, so we are going to switch up some things here and we're going to start taking a look at some of this information all right wish these were in order hold on let me see no that's not work. all right we're going to start here. Why? Well, just because that's where it's letting me go. <laughs> All right. So as we look at All right, let me just want to make sure I'm on the same page as you guys. All right. So here we are at the Cornell Law EDU. All right, let's see. Is this, how about this? Is better? Uh, that's gonna, that's too big. Then you guys can't really see it. All right, all right, we'll just do it this way. I'll be Tiny James and Tiny Box. Okay, that's what she said. All right, so popping over. As we look here, Cornell Law School, okay. Here's where you guys can get all the information on the Constitution, Supreme Court, U.S. Code, CFR, federal rules, UCC, and laws by jurisdiction. Now, keep in mind that they do not have all of the updated information for all of those particular areas where you can search. So we are just looking at the... CFR, and we're going to look at some of the terminology. We're going to kind of bob around a little bit here. So one of the things is people are always talking about motor vehicle, okay? So we're looking up information on the motor vehicle right now. All 
Okay, so this is going to be all your detailed information about the motor vehicle. All right. Motor vehicle means any vehicle, machine, tractor, trailer, or semi-tractor, semi-trailer propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used upon the highway for in the transportation of passengers or property or any combination thereof. Motor carrier right here, okay? Motor carrier means a for hire motor carrier or a private motor carrier. Okay. Person means any individual, we know what individual means, partnerships, associations, corporations, business trust, or any other organized group of individuals, corporations. Private motor carrier means a person, we know what person means, okay? Who provides transportation of property or passengers by commercial motor carry motor vehicle and is not a for higher motor carry. See what they did here? So this means that this is for private. You're you so we should really be looked at. Okay, so the thing here is so it's a private motor carrier, but they're saying by commercial motor vehicle so you have to be careful in how you use your words because a commercial is obviously different so let's see what commercial motor vehicle means oh they don't want to give you the definitions see this is this is how it works this is where you go into ambiguous territory but we know what commercial means So let's just pop back. All right. And let's see. Private motor carrier of passengers, business. Private motor carrier of passengers, non-business means a private motor carrier. involved in the interstate transportation of passengers that does not otherwise meet the definition of a private motor carrier of passengers. So here, we should be considered private motor carriers, okay? Non-business. All right. So this is not obviously the main thing that we're talking about here, so we're gonna jump over. All right, so we're going to stop sharing that. And sorry, I'm going to be a little bit slower here. My mouse just died. And I don't have anything to plug it in to. Hold on, hold on. Um. This is why I need a production assistant. Who I don't have to pay. Likes to be told what to do. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, now it's not going to reach the. Hold on. All right. Bear with me.
Go ahead. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. You guys get recess. All right. Now let's see if it'll work. Nope, because it's too low on power. All that and nothing. All right, back to the old school. Got to use your finger. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have on the table? Oh, yeah, the good stuff. All right, so let's take a look at some of the definitions now of the main Monty of uh, the show here. All right. All right, so we went through this one a little bit, kind of. What, what, what's interesting though is if you look, so let's look up what, what driver, what is a driver? Nothing. This tells me right here that they are updating this information. They are updating, changing, or hiding that information. This is the main reason why I wanted to show you guys this. So not only do you see that they have different terms for a private motor carrier, okay? So maybe you should be going to the DMV and asking for a private motor carrier's license or license plate. I mean, we know how to do right to travel and whatever else. We don't really, we don't need them. But for those people who want to check it out, go ahead. You know, if you find out something great, let me know. All right. So let's get to the other page here. Let me close out this one. All right. So next page. Show screen. Okay. So we're once again, we're now we're looking up the code. Now we know they just changed the definition of this and we all know why. So this is 8 USC 1101 definitions, okay? Of aliens, United States, all that good stuff. All right, so we're going to go down to 22, which is where we exist. Okay. Now, I don't remember 20 looking like this. 20 now says lawfully admitted for the permanent residence, meaning the status of having been lawfully accorded the privilege of residing permanently in the United States as an immigrant in accordance with these laws. Now, this one might have been here. We usually don't use that one anyway. One of the ones that people always wanted to battle me on is the term national. It means a person owing permanent allegiance to a state. And they go, well, Wolf, it's 8 USC 1101 21. And that's, that's, that's the code. It's 21. Okay. Well, allegiance to a state. Well, let's see what state they're talking about. The District of Columbia. Yeah, that sounds American to me, knowing that uh, this is a, a territory owned by some other people, not the United States of America. We don't own that. The United States Corporation. Puerto Rico. So, yeah, I don't see anything right here that, that uh, tells me this is America. Guys. Okay. I don't see it. So I'm not going to use 21 and represent myself as a national of D.C. You can do what you want to do. It's cool. All right. So 22. Now, here's where it gets interesting because we know this is the one that they changed. Now, off the top of my head, without even looking at it, 8 U.S.C. 1101, 22 A and B. So B used to say um, all U.S. citizens are... U.S. nationals, but not all U.S. nationals are U.S. citizens. That's what it used to say when I first started doing this. We've got the proof of it. We have it written. So these guys must have been getting our paperwork 
contacted the law or Cornell Law School and then said, we need to change this a little bit because they're they're whacking us with this information. Tink, 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 tink. So let's let's switch it up. Now, they can't get rid of it. All they can do is try to move it around a little bit, try to change the terms, but it has to still be there in some way, shape, form, or fashion because by Congress, they have to provide the remedy. They cannot get rid of the remedy. Okay? So right here, National of the United States. They're also using the term United States. Okay? Using person. So let's see what they got for person here in 21. A person, once again, just like the CFR, where we started off, means an individual or an organization. These are companies. These mean companies. Why doesn't it say a living being? And then also, because they mean when you hear the person, are you this person? You're an organization, an individual. Individuals can be construed as persons. These are corporations. You'll see a little bit more of that later. National. Let's see what they got for national. So national by itself, when used in this particular sentence. So that means in other places, when you see the word national, it could mean something different. But let's see what they have to say. Just means a person who owns a, an allegiance to a state. Okay. So that's fine for the term. But when used here, we know that the state now means D.C. Because we all know the other, the other places mentioned, they don't have any power. No offense, guys, but you don't. So here the term national of the United States, when put all together, let's see what this means. Okay. So they're kind of being, what is it, rhetorical? They're pulling this information from A20. Yeah, so they're using it to describe itself. National of the United States means either A, a citizen of the United States, which is true because a citizen of the United States is also a national. Okay, but those are two separate things. So they really should be saying, they shouldn't be using this how they have it done. It's not in, not in good English. It, or be a person who, though not a citizen of the United States, owns permanent allegiance to the United States. I like the double talk there, right? Now, I like how they don't have a definition of citizen of the United States. Okay? So let's see what they have here for under the United States when used in this particular sentence, which could be different in the sentence below it or above it or a different paragraph. This is why it's very hard to understand how they have things written, but let's take a look. The term United States, except otherwise otherwise specifically herein provided when used in a geographical sense means the continental United States of America. Continental, what does continental mean? The ground, the geographical, and then they name the states, okay? Meaning all of the states. They even changed this. It used to say all of the 50 states. So they changed this again. So once again, I'm telling you, they watch these videos. So hi, guys. Hi, marketing group out there who watches my videos. Hi, legal department. Hi, department of you know who you are. <laughs> so. There you go. So if their words are not mentioning, and they have to, here's the thing, they have to mention these some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. They have to. Otherwise, it's straight out fraud, and they're denying you of your constitutional rights. They have to have this information here, because there are different jurisdictions going on. So the upper United States, they're talking about the corporation in Washington, D.C. Down here, they're talking about the geographical one in the sense of the continental United States, all the 50 states, and all the ones who are directly under the United States of America. There it is. Boom, bad on my pockets getting fatter. All right. So if you're a natural, if you've been naturalized, then you are also and to become a citizen, then you're also a national of the United States. Boom. Okay. Yep. Now before, let's see here. 
let's let's check on the definition of United States when using a. I think they changed this, but um, okay, so they changed this to match the other one. Okay, so. Now what they're trying to do, because before this used to say something different. Now it used to say the um, D.C. OK, so they changed it. This is this to, this to me is a fraud because they're talking about the corporation here. We are a citizen of the corporation. OK, now the only way this could be also rebutted or challenged is that if the rumors are true that the corporation has gone down and they're now back under the. United States, then this would be accurate. Now, some people would say that, okay, but hold on, Wolf. They didn't say a U.S. citizen because the term U.S. first and then the term citizen definitely means the corporation. So when used as spelling here, a citizen of the United States, they could very well mean just a true citizen under the geographical United States of America. I don't really care for that term, but we have to use it for what it is. So here they're saying you can be a citizen of the true United States of America or a national. But to me, that sounds weird. Why are you a citizen and a national? Cit cities, city, okay, citizen is for the city state. Citizenship, citiesship, cityship. OK. Citations. All right. So I know that Colonel uh, Von Wilson from Copper Moonshine Stills, he's a big advocate for using a a citizen of the United States versus a U.S. citizen. OK. So from my perspective, national of the United States can go either way because they're saying here, if you're a citizen, then you're also a national. So why even have the term national? Because there's they're two separate things. From my perspective, one thing you learn about law is that if you have to go to law based on something that you've written, which I can do, you have to be able to argue your point. If you can't argue your point, then you've lost. You can't say, well, someone's told me where I read this and uh, I'm not really sure what it means. OK, so for me, the term national means operating under the United States, says it right here. Under the actual geographical 50 states, not a state like Washington, D.C., where it's the U.S. court. So the debate could still be out for citizen of the United States and how they just changed this particular uh, definition here. But they do that as we move, they move. OK, so. We're going to close that one out. Okay, okay. Now we're going to go to the next one. Oh, excuse me. Just had some food at the taco truck. It was fire. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. Now, let's, so I'm just showing you guys what I do. So check it out. Today, a U.S. citizen. So see how they switch the the words. They always have to show a difference in jurisdiction. So they switch the words. Okay, so now if you go by this, a citizen of the United States looks to be mean something different. So maybe they're catching up to me. Maybe they're watching my stuff and finally learning. You guys messed up. Get it to get your stuff together. So a U.S. citizen is defined as a person born in this country or a person. OK, so once again, you got person. We know that person means corporation. In this comp. OK, in this country, which country, this country, which one, USA or the corporation in out of Washington, D.C. has gone through the full immigration process to become a citizen, period. Stop. OK. That sentence is done. Wipe your mind. Now let's go to the next sentence. 
in many cases, becoming a what? Citizen in, in, remember the key word, in. What did the other one say? A citizen of. That's what they did. I didn't catch that before. Okay. So a citizen in the United States. Oh, wow. That is clever. And here I am teaching you guys about making sure you're careful with the words. A citizen in, in something, in their jurisdiction, a citizen in the United States. Got you. Instead of saying a citizen of, meaning outside and over here. Mm, okay, so that's what they're doing. It's wordplay. Wordplay. There it is. Citizen of the United States. And look right here. United States of America. The Oh, we didn't need all that. Of America. I'm sorry. I just like to see the word America on there. Because when I see this, the city ship of the United States, which one are you talking about here? Because over here, on the passport, it says United States of America. Where's my America? I want to see it. I want to know which definition you're talking about. Okay. Take a next look at the next bit here. Hopefully you guys are entertained. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe. Appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go ahead and switch up the banner so you guys can look at something different for a second here. All right. And now let's share another page. Where are you on? 27 minutes? Okay. Remember, guys, this is all pre-recorded, so that's why I am not answering your questions. And hopefully everyone is entertained. Are you not entertained? All right, so let's share the next one. So, yeah, this is what I do, guys, when I'm giving you this information. That whole... Uh, giving you stuff, and then uh, you guys just thinking that it just comes easy. You have to cross-reference all the information. This is, what it, this is what it takes. So, National of the United States. Okay. I like how they do include a small N here for National. Small C here for citizen, not a big capital C. Okay. Now, I would be okay with the second part here if they said foreign, foreign national. So national of the United States, meaning those born and those who are directly under the Constitution, but they want to say a citizen. Okay. Of the United States. They should add a C in there that says foreign national, meaning somebody born in one of the outlying territories. Like if we look over here, what is a foreign state? You know, something completely foreign to. Because really, from my perspective, there should be a state citizen, clearly defined, a National under the Constitution, a national to D.C., meaning a foreign national, and anybody operating specifically under the corporation of each state. So really, there should be like four clear definitions. So until there is, wink, wink, guys out there who watch my videos, um... Any of this information can be construed differently. So I go by national of the United States. Why? Because if you look at the passport application in the old days, it said either you're a state citizen 
or you are a citizen of the United States. So we know that the status has to still be there. They can't get rid of it. So citizen of the United States or, excuse me, U.S. citizen or a state citizen means those are your two primary statuses that you can have. So state citizen, they've changed to the term non-citizen of the United States or non-citizen national. Once again, national's in there. So we know they hit the term in this over here. So that's why we know that there's such a thing as a national. But a citizen of the United States, or excuse me, a U.S. citizen we know is an employee of the federal corporation, which is not, or the D.C. corporation, which is foreign. Okay, now that we got that, a little look. We're going to check out, I think maybe one more, and then we'll call it for this. So here's where it gets good or interesting. Okay, so now we switch over to 49 USC 40102A15. Citizen of the United States means an individual. We know what that usually means. Who is a citizen of the United States. So to me, individual, that means corporation. Okay, so a corporation made in the United States. They're not hyperlinking here, so it's hard to tell, but they, I don't see natural person on here. Okay, so let's see what individual means in Black Law's Dictionary. See if they have it. This is the newest one, so let's see what they got. Okay, individual in Black Law's Dictionary, existing as an indivisible entity. I'm sorry, what? 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's two definitions underneath individual in Black Law's Dictionary. And this is the book, so you guys can see. Okay, Black Law's Dictionary. Number 11, Deluxe, with the extra stuff, the extra goodies, says that you are, if you call yourself an individual or answer to it, and ex you are existing as an indivisible entity. Entity. Or two, of relating to or involving a single person or thing as opposed to a group. So once again, I'm hearing them calling us entity and thing, though it does say single person. We already know person means corporation. Okay, so now let's look up entity and thing. I ripped my page. No. All right, entity. An organization such as a business. Boom, mother. Yeah, there it is. An entity such as a business or governmental unit that has legal identity apart from its members or owners. Mm, mm, mm. Wolf, baby. Okay. Also to be known as a corporate entity since 1862. Public entity, a governmental entity such as a state government. Entity. Now let's look at thing. Man, what? Come on, man. This is why I win them cases. All right. This is, I'm telling you, this, you have to know the stuff. Let's go to thing. Eh, thing like cousin it thing or eh, thing. I'm going to call him thing. <laughs> all right. 
Things should be pretty easy to understand. S T. I can't spell. There's a lot of S's in here. Uh, I mean, thing is not going to help us. So I'm not saying anything that that's helping their cause in this. But they're good. That's why they make way more money than me, but I should be getting paid. Okay, thing. The subject matter of a right, whether it is material obje object or not. Any subject matter of ownership. Something to be owned. Things are divided into categories. Things real or immovable, such as land, tenants, tenements, hereditaments, or two, personal things, movable goods, shadow property. Three, real or personal characteristics, such as title, deed, tenancy, civil law, accessory thing, tangible things, immovable things. Thing, 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 thing. Okay? So, yeah. All right. Now that we've gotten that, okay, now we go on. A partnership, each of whose partners, so a partnership. So this doesn't just mean partners as possibly partners, meaning just people, but a partnership between them and the, the ship itself, the ship, the partner and the partners and the ship. Okay, together, which means a corporation is an individual, which we already know what that is, who is a city Zen. Okay, Sitais, Sitais, the city that has you have been converted into the a Sitais, Sitas of the city of the United States. Okay, and we don't know which one they're talking about here, but we can pretty much assume because they don't give us a hyperlink to know. Or C, a corporation. So the United States of the this when used as this can mean any of these things. All these I'm seeing so far, I'm not seeing almost anything so far that means American. Nothing has jumped out to say this is under the Constitution. A corporation or association organized under under. The laws of the United States, once again. So C could mean, I don't like how they have C saying a corporation, or it could be this. You sh if this right here means the United States of America, then it shouldn't be paired in the same sense. So this would be wrong. Or a state, and they kind of prove it here. District of Columbia pointed out, so it can't be. I'm not seeing anything. Right now, it says United States of America or a territory of possession of the United States of America, of which the president and at least two thirds of the board members and other managing members are citizens of D.C. OK, so let's go back up here. So. We know what individual means. And we know what partnership and individual. We hit this once again. Okay. So once again, I'm not seeing it when used in this case. This is why I have a problem with the citizen of the United States. And how come they don't have this like this on the passport then? How come the passport says, I declare under penalty of perjury that I'm either a U.S. citizen so somebody's lying. Somebody doesn't have their terminology right. Something's going on. A U.S. citizen is different from a citizen of the United States. I'm just saying, this is why I go with national. National's clear. The geographical, constitutional. Okay. Okay. And what are we at? 39 minutes. Let's go to the last one here. I'll show you why I have some more gripes with that term. Five hundred and thirty-seven reasons why I have a problem with this term. Sorry, no offense, Colonel Von Wilson. Love you. <laughs> 
All right. So we just read through here. Citizen of the United States has the meaning specified such terms as in section. All this right here. We just read that. So starting off the bat, there's 500 of these going down. And this is what it means. We just broke that down. Now, they also use that same code in FAA regulations. Here, means a person. What does it say? I, lo I love how this pops up. A person is a casual employee. Okay. Receivers, trustees, successors, assignees, stockholder, partner, person, controlling interest. Yeah, that's my problem with citizen of the United States. I think those terms are interchangeable. The only thing that throws me off is that they have it have a the definition of the United States when used there. That's wrong, if you, if you ask me by by my understanding. Well, let me say this correctly. No, no, no. I, I digress. A U.S. citizen or a citizen of the United States is also a national. Because you, you have to be a national or a state citizen before you can become a U.S. citizen or a citizen of the United States. To me, that citizen of the United States is interchangeable with U.S. citizen, just like a national is interchangeable with um, state citizen. Because you're a citizen of the states. Okay. Once again, is it just me or do does anybody see America in there? You see America? Because remember, they can't use the word America when it comes to their corporation because it's not. I'm not seeing it. And remember, when they're talking about all this, a citizen in, naturalized in, all that stuff, they're talk, they it's broad. And most likely, they're, most of the time, they're talking about within D.C. or its territories. Okay, like hospitals are their territories. Citizen of the United States, any person, by law, birth or naturalized, in any state, any given, of the state, of a state or a group of states. Why not? Why not just say all the fifty states? A group of states. You've got a group here, but you don't have states. No, no hyperlink to say the 50 states of the United States of America under the American flag and constitution. I don't see the word constitution in here because they can't use it. They literally can't use it. Not when describing what, the, you know, what they are compared to what they want us to believe they are. Anytime you see the word ship. Okay. Using the same examples. Okay. An individual who's, why, why not a natural person, a living being who is a, nope. Okay. We read that one already. We read that. So a lot of them are referencing back to what we went to. And all they say on the other one, what was it? A national of the United States. Under 8 U.S.C. 1101-22 A and B, A said you can be a citizen. A citizen is also a national. Okay? So they're saying those are two different things. But you, So you can be both. They're interchangeable because you have both. You have to be the national before you can be the citizen. And what does the second one say? When used here, it means the geographical, constitutional, 50 states are. American, okay? All I'm seeing is corporations, associations, partnerships, all that's underneath their stuff, the corp. Well, there you have it. United States, citizen of the United States, a city ship, capital C, a corporation or association, the District of Columbia or a territory possession of, oh, wait, what's this? The United States is not defined here. Why is there no hyperlink? Hyperlink under possession, not, uh, not on the United States when used here.
right? This is how you have to learn to read, guys. This is how, otherwise, you're going to be lost. You have to make your claim. Matter of fact, I tell you guys, you should make your own, um, get your, get your, hit up Black Side 32 and, and start creating your own, um, your own nation. Take, take it, create your own nation or use your last name, which is already your nation. Start using it. We are always supposed to be a nation of nations. All this stuff is for them. This is their code for federal, federalized or federalized state employees. Yep. I'm not seeing one thing here that said America, constitution, geographical, nothing. This is from the Law Insider. So, that's it, guys. So, about 46 minutes, slightly longer than my regular, well, way longer than my regular videos. You guys keep saying you guys want to see how I get down, see where we get the information from. So, that's, that's how you do it. All right, I'm going to be logging off here. This recording will probably go up in, a, I don't know, a couple of days, whatever. Today is actually the 31st of October. So I don't know when you guys will see this, but that is it. All right. So once again, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I know the comments have probably been blowing up. Once again, this was pre-recorded. Um, I will be trying to do a live live. I might have some guests on probably on Tuesday and we'll go from there. So you guys take care. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, support the channel. And um, I'll talk to you guys later.